Today we are going to do a lab practice on routing information protocol on how to configure RIP version 1. You can see from this topology basically involve four router R1, R2, R3 and R4 which is interconnected to each other and they are also connected to their respective local network, their LAN. There is an additional linkage from R2 which is going to the ISP router okay, which is simulating for the internal company network okay, to actually connect themselves to the public network which I'm simulating a Facebook server. The list of addresses for all the interfaces are given here okay, with its DC interface being highlighted so that you can configure, configure the correct clock rate on the correct interfaces okay. so what is the requirement for today's lab okay. you are supposed to configure all the IP address okay. so first you are supposed to configure host name for all the routers so as to make sure that all the route when you go into the routers you know that which router are you accessing then you're supposed to configure all the interfaces on the router whether is it the serial interfaces or whether is it the fast internet interfaces third requirement okay, you're supposed to configure a default route from R2 router to ISP and similarly you're supposed to configure a default route back from ISP to R2 as R2 and ISP are not supposed to communicate using RIP Task number 5, you are supposed to configure read version 1 okay, basically on R1, R2, R3 and R4 Basically, you can make use of show IP route on the router after you have successfully configured all the directly connected interface to take note of all the directly connected interface that you are supposed to configure as part of your read configuration Task number 6 Okay, you are supposed to take note of the interfaces that are not supposed to be communicating via RIP that means that okay, the interfaces that you are not supposed to send out the full routing table okay, by making use of the passive interface command okay, especially on all the fast internet interfaces that is connected to your local network which are not connected to any routers task number 7 because of the fact that we have configured a default route on R2 you are supposed to propagate or pass this default route information to the rest of the router like R1, R4 and R3 to tell them that there is a default route on R2 okay, that, is being, that is going to the ISP and the last task basically is to make use of show run, show IP route Okay, and show IP protocols okay, to verify all the configuration you have performed okay. to make this uh, faster lab okay, to complete okay, I have actually configured okay, all the interfaces on R1, R3 and R4 leaving me the configuration for R2 let's go in okay, to, to configure whatever is required Okay, which has not been configured R2 which are a similar process they are going to do for the rest of the router which I have done upfront go to enable mode config T and start by doing the host name so that I know that which router am I configuring okay. after that you are supposed to configure all the interface you can see that for R2 interfaces I have 4 of them okay. so I am going to configure all of them I'm going to start off by interface S001 okay, IP address which is stated here 192.168.2.2 prefix of 24 which is 255.255.255.0 okay, do a no shut and because of the fact that this is a DC interface I need to do a crop break 64,000 
Next, go on to the next interface which is S000. Do the same thing again. IP address 192.168.9.1. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. No shut to enable the interface. Next interface, interface S010. IP address. 192.168.4.1.255.255.255.0 Because of the fact that this is also a DC interface, do a crop rate 64,000. Do a no shot. And last but not least, the last interface that I need to configure, which is your interface FA00, which is your local area network. Okay. IP address 192.168.3.1.255.255.255.0 and do a no shut. Okay. And you have configured all the four interfaces. How do you verify all the IP addresses and whether the interfaces is up and running? Okay, you can basically do a do show IP interface brief. Okay, to verify okay the addresses that you have configured correct so i can see that my fa00 is configured 192.168.3.1 layer 1 status and layer 2 status is up up it's working serial 000 as compared with configuration is 192.168.9.1 is up running serial 001 192.168.2.2 which is up and running and last but not least, 0010, which is 192.168.4.1, which is up and running too. So let's just go through all the router and make sure that all the interfaces are up and running by doing a do, by doing a show, IP interface, brief. So, so, okay. So let's start by doing our next configuration. Okay, for task number three, we are supposed to configure a default route from R2 to ISP. Okay. In order for R2, in order for R2 okay, to go to ISP, the local exit interface that I need to exit out to ISP will be my serial interface 0, 0, 0. So very simple, exit from your interface sub command mode. Okay, do a IP route. Okay, and default route basically very simple. Uh, quad eight number which is zero 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 zero, followed by my local exit interface which is zero zero slash zero slash zero. Okay, enter. Okay. How to verify you have configured a default statute route by doing a do show IP route. Okay, make sure you have a S asterisk destination network to make sure you have configured a default route okay. so for task number four you're supposed to configure default route back from isp to r22 okay so from isp to reach r2 i should be using my local as interface 2 which is s000 again so go to isp enable config t mode okay do a ip route 0000, zero, zero, zero. Followed by zero 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 zero, followed by zero zero slash zero slash zero. Okay. Confirm your configuration of a static route. Do a show IP route. Make sure you have your static route there. Okay, and that's it. You have completed your task number four. Task number five. Basically, we are supposed to configure RIP on all the router R one, R two, R three, and R four. Okay, and you are supposed to take note also of the fact that you need to configure passive interface okay, on interface that is not connected to router. So let's start off with R1. Start with R1. In order to start your configuration of router RIP, okay, basically very simple. Go to your global configuration mode. Start by doing the command router RIP. 
okay to go into the router sub configuration mode next okay as i mentioned in order to make the process easier just do a do show ip route okay and just do a network command for all the network that you see okay that has been inserted into router enable as part of the directly connected interface which is represented by the capital C okay, so I'm going to do my network for 192.168.1.0 I'm going to do my network for 192.168.2.0 I'm going to do my network for 192.168.8.0 so I'm basically I'm going to configure whatever network that I'm directly connected to so that I can tell others router that is part of the RIP that if they want to go to a certain network come to me so according from what we see from the interfaces okay FA00 are co not connected to any router which means that okay I don't require the router to actually public pass any routing tables update every 30 seconds so I'm going to do a passive interface FA00 for my fast internet 00 interface okay. and that's it okay what we need to do for read for router 1 let's go on to router 2 okay, go on to router 2 okay do a router read again and do a show IP route <clears throat> okay configure all the directly connected interface that you see as part of the network by doing the network command 192.168.2.0 network 192.168.3.0 network 192.168.4.0 and last but not least 192.168 9.0 okay okay and from what we see we are supposed to block any routing table updates to the dot three network so we're going to do a passive interface again on my fa00 interface again okay and that's it we have completed the routing <coughs> read completion for r2 next go on to r3 <coughs> go to enable mode config t mode Okay, do a router rip. Okay, and do a show IP route. Okay, similarly, do all the network command for all the three directly connected network that you see. Dot zero network one nine two one six eight dot five dot zero and network one nine two one six eight dot six dot zero. Okay, and last but not least, prevent routing update. Okay, from being sent out to the interface that is not required which is your FA00 okay and that's it for your R3 router and last but not least okay your R4 do the same thing again router rip okay do a show IP route okay do the network command 192.168.6.0 network 192.168.7.0 and prevent routing update from your fast internet interface 00 okay in all verified the configuration I've done is correct okay okay basically you can do a do show run okay scroll all the way down until you see the router rip block to make sure that okay you have configured router rip and you have configured a passive interface on the correct interface we are, you are supposed to prevent routing updates from being sent out and the network that you are supposed to tell other routers that you are connected to okay for r4 basically is dot six dot seven dot eight network okay so once you have successfully configured okay all the information okay some commands that you can do you can do do show IP protocols okay to make sure that okay you can see all the read information 
okay, you can see that I have enabled routing for dot six dot seven dot eight network. Okay, and I have actually prevented routing updates from being sent out through the FA fast internet user interface, which is being classified as a passive interface. So now let's take a look at my routing table. Okay, if you are successfully configured, okay, all the network that the all the router R one, R two, R three, and R four are supposed to send to each other. Okay, you should be looking at all the network from one nine two one six dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, dot six, dot seven, dot eight, and dot nine. Okay, being sent to each other. Okay, and you can see that. Okay. The route that has been learned by a router through other routers through read process is being represented by the alphabet R. Okay, all the abbreviation or the code R. Okay, which is signifying read. Okay, but one thing missing from here now is that R four didn't know that there is a static route, static default route that is configured on R two. Because if you look at your task number seven, you are supposed to configure default information origin command on router that have default route and running rip okay which is basically my router r2 so we are going to go back to router r2 to my default information originate okay so you can see that just now okay we didn't see any r as a read okay so we are going to do this command after you do this, let's go to R1 and take a look at the routing table. Okay, and you see a another line that appear, which is the R asterisk followed by the anywhere address, which is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 prefix of 0, which basically signifying a quad 8 number. And you can see all the network that I'm supposed to reach, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's look at R four. Do the same thing. Do so IP route. Okay. So you can see just now I didn't see the default static route. Okay. But now I'm able to see a R asterisk as compared to the previous routing table. Okay. Before I did the default information originate. Let's double confirm for router R three. Do a do so IP route. Should be able to see your dot one to dot nine network, and last but not least, your default route that has been propagated to you through R two. Okay. The last and final task that you should be doing, okay, basically making use of one of PC. Let's take PC one and do a ping to each other. Okay. So from PC one. Let's try to ping our Facebook server. Wait for a while so that you can find the proper path or route. Okay, I have received a reply. Do a ping from PC1 to the PC that is connected to R2 network 192.168.3.10. Receive a successful reply to a ping to the net the PC that's connected to R3 local network 192.168.5.10. Similarly, I receive a successful reply, and last but not least, do a ping from this PC to the PC that is connected to R4 local area network which 192. One six eight dot seven dot ten. And basically, this will conclude our lab practice for configuration of routing information protocol, or in short, we call it RIP okay, version one.